night, everybody. We're now on day 19, and today we're gonna to be doing some really cool stuff. So the first one that we're doing, we're doing a white squat into a curtsy. Back into that white squat, over to the other side. So the same format, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. So just get that body ready, come down into that white squat, and we go. So curtsy it back, bring it into the white squat, go over to the other side. So just keep on switching between these two. As you do the curtsy, just keep on going. As you do the curtsy, watch it's not too much to the side and under that forward leg. So you still want to think it's a lunge back, just the diagonal lunge. So this will make it go more into your glutes than just onto your knees. So keep on going. We have 12 more seconds. So still think it's back. I'm watching that my body goes back with that curtsy. So don't keep it just over that forward leg. There we go. So next one. You have two options, but if you want to, try the first one with me. I know it's a bit scary, but most people are okay when they do this. So we're gonna walk into a plank, hands together, feet together, jump it out, back in, all the way up. Try it with me. So feet close, hands close, jump your limbs out, jump the back in, all the way up. So if you find that too scary or too hard, just come here, walk it out, walk it back in, all the way up. But try the first option. You can also just jump your feet and then come up like that. So three options you have. So just pick one and keep on going. There, just a few more seconds. Or just the feet. There we go. Well done, whichever option you did. I know it can be quite scary in the beginning to take kind of all your limbs out and back in. Now, next one. We're gonna shuffle to the side just once. Then we're gonna do a jump, bringing our feet together. So there, there. Go with me, one shuffle, one beat jump. So we've done the beat jump before, we're just adding the shuffle. So I'm trying, apart from the jump, to stay down. So when I do the shuffle, I'm not coming up and down. I'm just staying down, one beat. So I'm thinking I'm kicking the left leg out of the way with my right leg. So this is the movement in the middle. Then we're just adding that jump on the end. There we go. Shake those legs. Get the shoulders back. Open up the chest, just breathe in. So now we're coming down to a plank. Now this one is really slow. Come down with me. And we're just gonna walk our feet up and back down. Join me. So literally walk those feet as far as you can. And slowly back down, drop your hips. So we're trying to get that hat through those hands, keep that back straight all the way back down. So this is not a quick one. And as I start coming up, I'm thinking it's the core that's bringing me up. So I'm thinking I'm scooping in the core, lifting it up, tucking my pelvis under, holding it with my core, all the way back. So really go as far as you can. Just three more seconds, keep on going. Well done. Just relax it. Come kneeling, we're gonna turn and lie. But just try in that plank to come as high up as you can. You're normally never gonna fall over. Because people worry about that, but then you have to go so far, and most of us can't even do that. So we're lying down. Just to there, what you're gonna do, you're gonna bring your feet down and bring them back up. Now, as you do this, really watch that you don't arch your back as you bring your feet down. Keep on going. So I can only bring my legs to about here, then I start pulling them back up. And this is slow. The down one is faster 
The up one is really slow because I just want to use my core. If you start feeling in your legs, just bend them slightly. Same thing, so I'm pressing that lower back down, squeezing it up with my core. Pressing that lower back down, squeezing it up, and breathe. Well done, everybody, rest. Have some water if you want to. All of that shebang, breathe, and then we go again. So we're coming back into that axe lunge, or that white lunge to a curtsy, I call it an axe lunge. So come into that white squat, and we go again. So bring it back. Don't bring it too far to the side, because then it's too much here. So when I bring it back, your weight goes back, I can feel it in my glutes. Just alternate those sides, and check that my weight of my torso is not coming forward. So I'm constantly with that open chest. Just keep on switching. Get that squat in the middle deep. So as you come, don't just do this. Go down that. So use every single movement. So everything you do, do it to your full capacity. So as deep squat as you can. The last one. Well done. Shake it so we're coming back into that walking plank. So you still have those three options, obviously. So just pick one. You can also try to walk forwards and just jump your hands or your feet, walk it out, or jump everything. Get ready, breathe in. Walk it, so as you come forwards, just watch. And you're standing with your hands together and your feet together. Because if you're like in a normal wide press up, there's kind of nowhere to go. So just walk it to here, then you have somewhere to jump and jump back in. Walk it all the way back up there so if you want just come here there this is also gonna test your core so you're not losing out or missing out just because you can't do that jump it's absolutely fine there we go last one <laughs> breathe and we're coming to the next one so we're doing that kick so the biggest um, part sometimes of this exercise is not the bead jump, it is the shuffling that gets a bit like that. So just do it with me, we'll do a squat jump. So now think, you're always moving that outside leg first. So it's always that outside leg. So after that jump, just focus on that. Outside leg, kicks the other leg. Outside leg, kicks the other one. So that's the move. Because if you don't think that, then sometimes this kind of thing starts to happen. Okay, keep on going. Squat jump. There, so we're beating those legs together. As we beat them together, we want them to be straight. There, keep them straight. But then as you shuffle to the side, we want to keep that low. There we go, shake your legs. Two more exercises to go, both for your core, and a bit for your upper body. So we're coming down. We're gonna worm those legs up and back down. So take your time with this one. So we just wanna feel that we're almost coming in. Go with me. Into like a hat stand. Get it to there. And then just slowly walk it in back down. But watch you coming all the way back down. So really get those hips down before you go again. All the way up. So you can even rest it on your head. You're never gonna go over. So you don't have to worry about that. All the way back down. And we go again. Slowly, weight forward. So none of my weight is on my feet. There, onto my tippy toes. And then all the way back down. There we go. <sighs> well done, everybody. So we're doing this also to stretch your back, open up your chest, while, whilst we're really working the core. So, loads of benefits. Now, lie down with me, same thing. So we come in there, really get that lower back down into the ground, then bring those legs down. So keep on going. Now, as you're doing it, if this is your back, you don't want it to start arching as you bring the legs down. 
because that's going to just affect your back and your hip flexors. So you want to press that lower back down into the mat and only go there as far as you can keep it. Then really slowly back up. Breathe out, breathe in and press it. Keep it. Really slowly back up. Breathe out, breathe in. Engage it. Last one. Well done, everybody. So just remember with this one, it's not about how far down you can go, it's about what muscles you're working. So well done for doing it slowly and correctly with me. I will see you all tomorrow.